Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number four. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so we are now on to our final license for today. And this is the super license, license number four. And I'm guessing these are all... Yep, full laps. Ah. <sighs> Wish me luck. So first up is going to be some Yamaha bike, I think. Let's have a look. We're at Sukuba for this first super class race. Let's have a look. Reputed to be the leader of the Japanese racing scene since the 70s, Sukuba Circuit is where you will challenge your first lesson in the Super Class, a full course time trial. At 2 kilometers in length, the circuit is on the shorter side, but many of the corners are difficult to tackle. Right, let's do this. We're in a Yamaha TZ125. This is... A tiny little bike, okay. We can get some good lap times. Oh. Whoa, that was crazy. Okay, so we need to watch out for this corner. Very much a surprise for us. That was definitely a corner cut. No one saw that, though. Good through there. Coming out of the corner, tucking down. Perfectly executed. Oh, that was horrible. I did not like that. 104, 105, 106. There we go. We passed. We passed the lap time. It's fairly decent. Obviously, people who are quicker will do that. No problem. But uh, I got I got a fairly decent one. So uh, let's go to the next track. Where are you going to be? Where are you going to be? New York, I think. Yes, New York. This is a very nice track, actually. I quite like this. This test will offer the challenge of a time trial through the cultural and economic center of the United States. Mid Manhattan. After traveling south on Broadway, you'll come up 7th Avenue, clipping the southernmost section of Central Park. And we are on a Yamaha V Max for this. Right, so this is attempt number five. Onto the brakes. This bike, I did get very close to the finish for this one. I got to the roundabout section at the top and then I crashed. But this bike, that is the speed you can corner at 30 miles an hour. There are cars that can go faster than that, that's top speed is 70. It is insanely slow. The bike itself can go like 100 miles an hour, like 150, but you cannot corner on it. In any more than first gear. Look how slow it is. We've obviously got this very tight section here. So then go all the way around here, up here. We're very nice. We can tuck down now. And keep our eye very open for this braking zone. See, I braked way before I probably should have, but uh, I can't take this corner any quicker. Tell me this is the finish line. 
Nope. Finish line is further up. 55. 56. No way. No way. We got a gold. On the super license. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. I'm actually impressed by that. I wasn't expecting any golds out of the super, so I'll take that. We'll go to the next track now. Track number three. I think this is going to be the longer one of the licensed videos. This will be about half an hour probably. I don't know. Maybe. Could be. Uh, so next up is the full course time attack of Grand Valley. Let's do this. Right, here we go. I have sort of had to stitch all of these together because I keep crashing. Not crashing, but like I keep going off the track slightly. Uh, the last fail was a BS reason at the final set of S bends. I went off the track. It wasn't even off the track, it was like on the curb. But uh, probably forgot that these old games weren't very reliable on their fail detection. So uh, you really do have to watch out because they will try and bite your ass. Right, can I take this corner as good as I did before? Oh yes. The flow. The flow. Oh, that was amazing. There we go, getting around this corner. Fresh, clean. You can actually do wheelies in this game, I think, as well. Nice. I really would like to see a tourist trophy too. Polyphony could totally do one. Like obviously tourist trophy doesn't need to be as often as Gran Turismo. But it's a good change and a good thing for like Gran Turismo fans to sort of play something else. I would love to see, I, I wouldn't want them in the same game. I wouldn't want like a bike mode and a Gran Turismo mode in one game, not really. But like a separate standalone Tourist Trophy 2 would be amazing. It's got a nice ring to it as well. Tourist Trophy 2. But there we go. Bronze. We got the bronze. LeBron's James. There we go. Let's go to race number four now. Awesome. So we are now on the Laguna Seca Raceway. Well, uh, we got to the final corner and we failed. So, uh, attempt number three. Very nice. I have as well, I'm going to be, um, obviously these licenses have been pre-recorded, recorded beforehand, but um, I'm also going to be recording all of the challenges and races as live streams um so they're obviously going to be uploaded as videos but uh, i'm going to be live streaming them um me completing them because there's a lot of stuff to do so it'd be really nice to sort of like live stream it plus uh if i do start doing gran turismo 4 and doing like a 100 percent walkthrough on that some of those missions are going to take me a long time. And uh, I will need live stream to for my own sanity. This is awesome. We got around that corner very nicely. Perfect. Ok, 
Careful! It was that curb there. I went too far on the dirt. Very nice. Got ourselves our bronze. I still don't get how New York we got the gold though. Like every single other one we didn't get gold. But New York was just like gold easy. No problem. Getting that gold. Alright, what is next up? Next up is the Infineon Raceway. So we haven't actually driven on this yet in any of the licenses. So, right, here we go. So uh, one thing I didn't actually know about this track um, is NASCARs actually go around it. Um, me being the uneducated pleb I am, didn't actually know that NASCAR wasn't just, you know, round around in circles. But uh, it's actually quite interesting to watch. Um, I did watch a sort of like live stream replay on the NASCAR YouTube, and it was it was pretty entertaining. I will say that. I quite enjoyed it. But one th Oh, that was close. One thing I really want to do, because obviously I haven't watched Formula 1 for like four years properly till the start of this season. I really want to get into watching more motorsports. So Formula 1, Formula E. I want to try and watch F2 and F3 in that. Way too wide there, but technically still on the tarmac, so it counts. But especially NASCAR, I want to watch a lot more of that. And IndyCar. IndyCar's quite cool as well. Nice. Right, so this is the corner where I failed at last time because this is brought much further forwards. There isn't any of the straight. Which I don't like. I don't like that bit. Okay, so with a little bit more smoother corners. Wow, my biker doesn't know how to take corners. With a couple more smoother corners, I have a feeling... We could get a lot more time off of that. Which is very good. Very, very good. We're halfway through. And it's probably taken me the same amount of time it took me to do two of the licenses. Which is crazy. So uh, next up is the Midfield Raceway. Okay, let's give this a try. Into first, yes, very nice. We're on some form of uh, Kawasaki. I think it might be a Ninja, actually. I definitely know that bike. Let's get around this corner, tuck it down. Oh, we went very wide there very very wide okay so we're gonna have to watch out for this section because this is the uh, sketchy section right I'm breaking now very good I wasn't risking me wobbling and falling off Right, let's see. Can we get the 19? No, we can't. 121.2 though, fair enough. I will take that. That is a very good time. Right, what is next? Next up is... Oh yeah, the special stage route 5. Okay. I am looking forward to this big time. All 
Right, going around here through the tunnel section. Very nice. Perfect. See, it's weird going through here and seeing all these um, bike sponsors and tourist trophy and everything. Because obviously it's not Gran Turismo. But like, it's just weird. The track is completely different to what we're used to. I think this as well is the classic. I think they modified this track slightly for Gran Turismo 5 and 6. To make it more visually appealing. Yeah, because this is definitely a different direction. Awesome. Perfect. Come on, let's do this. Coming across the start finish line. Let's go. Come on, where is it? There we go. And we got a silver medal for that. GG's all round. That is awesome. Wait, so that's three races in a row that we've done first time. I'll take that. Because the last ones have been like, oh, attempt, repeat over, attempt over, attempt over, attempt. Loads of times. Next one is the eighth race. This is the uh, Fuji 90s track. Uh, I don't like this track. I've obviously driven this in Gran Turismo 4 off camera. But, uh, yeah. Don't like it too much. Something about it just bugs me. Maybe the fact that cars probably weren't designed to drive around this. That was impressive. I was worried that we were going to ruin our running streak then. Nice. Drop it down to second. Get around here. Perfect. Right, we got to watch out for the hairpin coming up. Very nice there. Absolutely amazing flow between these corners. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And that is race number four in a row completed. Unless we don't make the time. But uh, easily made the time there, see? Very good. I like that. Right, what is next then? Let's have a look. We've got two more tracks left. I have a feeling one of them is going to be high speed ring. And one of them's probably going to be Nürburgring, no, no luck. Oh, Trial Mountain. Oh, so we're going to have Trial Mountain and Nürburgring then. Ugh. <laughs> I really don't want the Nürburgring. Imagine a full lap of the Nürburgring with these things. Oh, that would be a nightmare. I'm guessing as well in this, um, they have the uh, little monkey in the tree Easter egg that they've had in like every single Gran Turismo. If it's not in this game, I'll be gutted. Ah, there it is. You can see it.
very good flow into that corner there. Onto the straight. I'm kind of... Whoa, I'm kind of nervous for this. Ah, we did it all right. That was fairly decent. Let's get crouching and going again. That's decent. Crouch down again. Oh, flowing into that corner very nicely. We've got this section, which is always a nightmare in cars, because I always clip the sort of mountain on the side. But uh, the fact that we only have two wheels, that's not a problem for us. We got ourselves a nice bronze medal for that. Bronze trophy. Right, time for hell, probably. The Nürburgring, I can guarantee you it's going to be. Because I know Gran Turismo, they do that. They like doing that. Hey, it's Suzuka. Okay, fair enough. I'll take that. Thank you, Taurus Trophy. I genuinely have now physically lost count of how many times I've done this. Probably at least attempt number 12. At least. I keep falling off and crashing. Genuinely, to do this super license has taken me the same amount of time it took me to do all of the other three. But once this is done, I can sleep. I will need to sleep. My hand hurts. I sort of uh, punched, <laughs> punched my unit <laughs> after failing the last time because it was so stupid. Okay, here we go. Nice. That was good. We'll crouch here. Slow down here. Very nice. So uh, I feel like I've sort of worked out the breaking point for the main straight section. It's coming up. Uh, after Spoon. And I think it is the time save point. Uh, the split time point. Very nice. You have to break there as well. Which is a section that the game doesn't tell you to break for. But there's no way you're getting around it. No one can get around that. Very nice. Duck down. We're looking for the split time. it is. Perfect. Okay, we slowed down way too early, but I don't care because I want to finish it this time. This is the furthest we've gotten. Come on. Yes. I don't care if I'm four seconds off. I'm taking that. I'm taking that. Thank you very much. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay. Perfect. And here we go, we got our super license. Mechanic CG has qualified with his super license. What do we get now? We got a load of riding gear, we must do. Absolutely loads of it. But that is it, that is all the super licenses done, all of the licenses done uh, with varying results. We got a surprise gold as well for the super, which is pretty interesting. 
But let's go to the riding gear, because this is probably the last time we're going to check this. Uh, at all. So uh, let's see, what have we unlocked? So we've got a couple more helmets. Oh, I like them. I like this style of helmet. So we're going to take that. Uh, we can get some blue gloves, shall we? Actually, do we have any black outfits now? Oh, I do like that. Yes, please. Let's put that on, that on. And do we have any, like, gold boots? No? We got black alpine stars. We got black camo. I quite like that. Let's go for that. A very weird sort of look, but I like it. I very much like it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. And don't forget to check out the description for our social links. We have Instagram, Discord and Twitter. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Like